I'm working on an invention in my head. This invention is um, going to be somewhat like a computer, but you don't need to stare at a screen killing your eyeballs with uh, blue light to use it. Instead, the computer projects its um, display you can display um, the computer activities on a wall or a uh, flat surface of any color. But if you want to put it on a wall that's black, wow! Are you going to use a projector in the future from a computer to project images on a black screen? black wall someday no screens anymore these screens hurt our eyeballs and then we can't see so if every uh, apple product that understands how to scan emdr therapy with the front facing cameras that everybody got addicted to uh, especially if it hustled them ass uh, wouldn't we just all benefit from some science and put a projection of all our computer work on a screen, like a fabric screen or a flat screen or a tangible 3D, 5D um, surface. If I could project to you what I'm seeing in my computer brain right now, We wouldn't, we wouldn't look like this. We wouldn't look like this. And I would probably have enough money to fund that idea if I went to the Maldives. Maldives with um, Russian oligarch and told him I coach lacrosse. If I told a Russian oligarch I coach lacrosse, I played lacrosse, I won a championship in um, the Maldives, and he said, where? <laughs> and he said, uh, my girlfriend is pregnant. We've been looking for a place for her to give birth. We can't go to Russia. Can we come over? Oh, okay. We have a house. You want to stay? You want to stay the night? And do whatever else we do in that house? I'll invite a black man. He's my bitch. If I could uh, invent a bunch of things with Henry Sun. I wouldn't need money. I don't have to give birth. I don't have to have sex. If I could just invent things for fun with at least one Chapman Men's Lacrosse donor, we'd never touch each other. We'd just talk to each other forever. I currently want to kill people, so I don't think that will happen anytime soon. I'm on house arrest. If anybody can um, refer me to a chiropractor sometime soon, I'm, I need a second opinion on my skeleton. My chiropractor right now only does the slightest adjustments so that I go right back to being out of place around the time that I'm supposed to see her next. So she knows how to do that. And I think there's like a clicky pen that you're supposed to use to uh, force your vertebrae back into place permanently. She hasn't used that on me yet. But I need to correct that before I die. I think that up there in Orange County, California is going to milk your body until you die. And if you just so happen to have a child here. Oh, girl. You think it's so nice?
Do you think it's so beautiful on your Instagram? That's Disney shit. No. You're born in Orange County. Unless you can escape on a Russian oligarch super yacht to Havana. You are trapped here until you pledge your child to Disneyland. And from there, you have to negotiate your way out of the magic castle through whichever district attorney there is in Orange County, California. Do you know how many there are? Do you know that the actual power here is supposed to be with the police, okay? With the police. But if you also know that your police might be good at being police if you get rid of a few of them. I got I got one fired. I think he's a fowler descended from all those fowlers at Chapman University, but he was a shitty one. <clears throat> so that's why that's why Aaron Hunkowski broke up with Chelsea Fowler. It wasn't because of her face. Aaron, you were a skater boy. You did not belong with those girls. You were a skater boy. The skater boys at El Toro High School from 2006 to 2010 were and always will be superior to the Madison Webb, Lena Nelson, uh, the Megan girl, and Chelsea Fowlers of the world. Those girls peaked in high school. And they got into whosoever pants they could while they were in high school at whichever college was nearby. They thought they were from Newport Beach. No. By now, those girls get trafficked abroad every summer. Do you know that, Aaron Hunkowski? You deserved everything that you could gain from your artistry. I remember it. And now your girlfriend is super hot. Good. Chelsea Fowler, Keith Fowler, their faces look like they've been mutated through incest. Do you understand me? I think I understand me. The skater boys knew everything. I did overwhelm Nicholas Forstat one day when we were freshmen. I was at Chapman. I think I was drunk. I kept harassing him. He was trying to tell me how hard medical school is. He was talking about anxiety. And I think I was drunk. So I, I, I just texted him too much. Where is that man? If anybody is allowed to cut me open for any surgeries, I have a list of doctors ready to go. One is Nicholas Horstadt. Two is Danelle Lucero. I'd rather have her over Anjali Sota. I'd rather have Danelle Lucero cut me open as a doctor after a few more years. Maybe after like 15 years, okay? And then Anjali Sota, but I might be wrong. That might be misled. Anjali felt that wouldn't cut me open as revenge, right? I hope that whoever helped Christina Nicole Johnson give birth was Russian. Because if you did, and you looked into her vagina, and you cut out her baby, and you watched her give birth, to a second child born on betrayal, treachery, lies, deceit, propaganda, and money. You witnessed evidence that I would like to refer to when she is in jail. The only way to protect that bitch from me and my lawsuit is to put her in jail. She's not insane. She's not going to need isolation at all. 